Hey, this is Paul from Wondershare Mobile Trans, and in today's video, what we want to do is try and show you how you can export your WhatsApp chats as a PDF. And millions of people across the world use WhatsApp, and if you're watching this video, I'm sure you use WhatsApp as well. And people use it for a lot of different reasons. So sometimes people will want to use it to send photos and videos to their friends and family. Or if you're watching this video, you might be one of the people that actually uses WhatsApp for a business use instead. And that is why it's important sometimes to export these WhatsApp chats as PDF files because then they can be kept as an official record because some businesses do speak to clients, like I said, across WhatsApp. So it then becomes important to have that as an official record. So in this video, let's show you how you can export your WhatsApp chats as a PDF. If it's your first time here at the Mobile Trans channel, then why not subscribe to the channel? Because we like to give you tips and tricks to help make your life just a little bit easier. So why not hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the future videos that we put out on the channel. Okay, let's get into the video and we'll show you a few different ways on how you can make those PDFs from your WhatsApp chats. And the first way and one of the best ways for this is through the Mobile Trans software. If you've not heard of the Mobile Trans software before, then it is a software that helps you back backup and save data from your phone and is available on both Mac and Windows PC. So no matter what you have at home, you can download this software to make your life 100% more easy. And the only way to download this software is to go to our official Mobile Trans channel and you can download that software there. And you can look in the description below and we will put a link there to help you get that software downloaded. The first thing that you'll need to do once you've then downloaded that software is of course open it and make sure that you have your iPhone connected to the PC or Mac with a secure connection and that is with a USB cable and you need to make sure that it is secured tightly because this is what is going to help transfer your data over. Once the phone is connected the software will detect the iPhone automatically and will switch it into a source or destination device and here you need to make sure that the iPhone is the source device because that is where your WhatsApp chats are stored and once you've got this in the right place you can then go ahead and start that process and it is super simple as well because all you need to do here is go and click that start button. Depending on the amount of WhatsApp chats that you have, it may take a couple of minutes. So just sit back and be patient here while the mobile trans software does all of the work. And then once it's finished, you'll get a notification that all that data has been transferred over. And then you can view that WhatsApp data in the place that you decided to store it in an HTML file or in that PDF file, which then means you have the PDF that you came to this video looking for. And out of the methods that we mentioned today, this is our recommendation recommended method because it is nice and easy. It doesn't take that much time to back up your data and you can back up a lot of data at once as well. And when you've backed it up, you know it is secure and it is there ready on your Mac or your PC to access whenever you need it. Okay, so another method is to actually access your WhatsApp chats by sending them over to yourself on email. And this is something that not a lot of people know that you can do. The first thing you'll need to do is go ahead and open WhatsApp and then you need to find a chat that you want to save as an email. You then just tap the name and click export chat. And then this is where you'll see a pop-up that will ask you whether you want to transfer your media or leave your media behind from emailing these chats over. What will happen next is that you'll see a small pop-up from the bottom of the screen and this will ask you how you want to send those chats over. And here is where you can click email and you can either use the built-in email from the iPhone or you can select to use your email of choice, which for a lot of people might just be Gmail. You then enter the email address of where you want to send this chat to and within a few seconds that chat has been sent over to your email and it is safe and secure. The one problem though using this is that you will need to make sure that you do this for every single chat individually. So it's a manual process and can take quite a lot of time if you want to save a lot of chats at once. And of course it goes without saying that if you have a bad internet connection with Wi-Fi or your mobile data then these chats won't send across and sometimes you won't know that until you've gone through every single one and it is taking you hours to do. So just know that this is a bit of a long process. The next method is something that is really quick, it's really easy and it's actually to use iCloud on your phone already to back up the chats that you want to make sure you keep hold of. You'll need to open WhatsApp first of all and go into the settings menu on your WhatsApp on the iPhone. And then there is only three more steps to this and it will take seconds to do. What you'll need to do, go into settings, chat and chat backup. 
and of course click backup now. And then within a couple of seconds, those chats will be backed up and saved to your iCloud and then available to access when you need them. And the last method to help you out today is to use iTunes to help you back up those chats. You'll first of all need to go to iTunes and open it up and make sure you enter all the information you need to enter to make sure you can have access to everything you need. Of course, you then need to connect your phone to the computer and you need to do that again with a reliable working USB cable. When you're inside iTunes, the next steps are really simple as well. And what you'll need to do is go to File, devices and then select backup and then it will take you through that backup process and that should take no time at all and then once again your whatsapp chats are there backed up ready to access four really good methods there to help you back up your whatsapp chats and of course access them in a pdf format if that is something that you need to do and if this video did help you out at any point at all then why not share it with a friend and also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more videos that we have like this coming up for you. And of course, if you want to download that mobile trans software, then head to that official Wondershare mobile trans website to download the software to help you get your WhatsApp chats backed up. And if you do all of that, we will see you in the next video.